again, Holly Perkins here, and we need to talk about something that has been driving me bonkers lately, and it is the increasing frequency of marketing claims about losing weight quickly. It drives me so bonkers. So today, we're talking about the truth about weight loss because here's the deal. One, weight loss is not easy. It never will be easy. If it were easy, we'd all be skinny. It's completely counter to our survival as a human being, right? If we could lose weight easily, the human being, homo sapien, wouldn't be here for three million years. We are designed to gain weight. That is just what our genes are. That is going to ensure that we stick around for another three million years. So rule number one, weight loss is hard. It is hard. Now it gets even more complicated when we look at your personal physiology and hormonal profile. Each one of us is a little bit different, but I promise you it's incredibly difficult to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. Um, the most I will see weight loss in my clients and people that I've worked with is about one to two pounds per week. Now, if you have a lot of weight to lose, let's say you need to lose 50 pounds or more, you should be able to lose about two to a two and a quarter pounds per week. If you're going any faster than that, you're going to get into metabolic trouble, okay? If you have around 20 to 30 pounds or less to lose, the realistic average is about one to maybe two pounds per week that you can lose. And I can tell you this from personal experience and from the thousands of women's, women that I have coached over 20 years. The max I usually see is about a pound a week. And in people, as you get closer to your goal weight, it gets closer to about a half a pound per week. And if you go beyond that, you are going to have fallout. There is a direct relationship between weight loss and discomfort. The more weight that you want to lose, or the faster you want to lose it, the more fallout and discomfort you are gonna have to deal with. It just does not happen easily or comfortably for almost no one, especially women. Yes, men can do it, absolutely, but they're a completely different species, and that's why I focus so much on women. We're wildly unique, just in case you didn't know, um, and therefore, it makes it so much more difficult for us to lose weight. So, the faster you go or the more aggressive you go, you gotta be prepared to deal with some symptoms. What are those symptoms? Crankiness, brain fog, low energy, extreme exhaustion, soreness, hunger, cravings, those are things that come in the more aggressive your weight loss. And the truth is, here's the reality of it. Your most successful approach to weight loss is to identify habits that you can change permanently and do for life. For example, can you drink more water each day? If the answer is yes, that is something that's very doable, it's very easy, it's going to lead towards easier weight gain for sure, and it's something that you can do forever. So lock into that habit. Get it locked in, get it down, do it forever, then pick up your new next habit. Maybe it's eating more steamed vegetables during the day, particularly green vegetables. That's a habit that you can do and you can sustain. Rather than really trying to lose weight fast, now, and aggressive, pretty much 100% of the time, women come to me feeling terrible as a result of that kind of a weight loss program. They either feel terrible, they end up giving up, they're so sore, they have overtraining syndrome because they're going in and they're hitting it hard and heavy and fast, and then they feel terrible eventually. So the best weight loss is slow and steady progress. Aim for one to two pounds per week. Some weeks you're not gonna have any weight loss. It also goes in cycles. You'll notice that you're going along and then kaplunk, you're gonna drop some weight. Then you're gonna go along, kaplunk, you're gonna drop some weight. It's not gonna go down a pound every single week. It almost just doesn't ever do that unless you have 50 pounds or more to lose. The more weight you have to lose, the easier and the faster, faster and more linearly it can happen. I hope this helps. Weight loss is quite confusing, and I think part of it is because 
A, it's uncomfortable, and B, because it's so different for each woman. I would love to hear your thoughts. What kind of questions does this bring up for you? Does it ring true? Does it sound right? Does it make sense to you? Your feedback really helps me. In fact, a lot of these weekly updates come from questions and thoughts that I get from you. So I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your questions. Make sure you sign up for these free email updates, hollyperkins.com. Send me some love. I could always use a little more. I'll see you next time.